Now what are these? These are calibration cubes. I printed them in 0 0.12, 0 0.16, and 0 0.20 millimeter resolution. So what are the benefits of using these cubes? It will help you calibrate your printer settings and profiles without using a lot of filament. So they are like bite-sized plastic blocks that will help you visualize what your prints will look like. Now what will help in getting good measurements is to have a micro caliper like this. You don't need a super accurate micro caliper, something that will measure in the tenths of a millimeter will do. So guys, my name is James and I'm going to show you how to design your own calibration cubes in a free software called Blender. I will show you how to use these cubes and I will show you how to create your own printing profiles in a free slicing software called Cura. And if you don't want to design your own cubes and would rather just download these cubes, uh, please check out the link below. I will be posting them on my Thingiverse account. Guys, I always appreciate the likes, comments, and subscribes. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Now let's take a look at these examples. So let's take a look at these cubes. The 12, 16, and 20. There is a little bit of a, I think this is like a, I picked up a stray. filament on the nozzle and then that's what it is right there if you look at the bottoms on all three of these they're super clean all of them are super clean This is 16, and then here's the 20. There's a little bit of a... This is the top. A little bit of roughness. Again, um, this is because it, they, they picked up a stray uh, filament someplace on the nozzle. But relatively, the tops are pretty clean, the bottom and top. Now let's take a look at the size. So they're not perfect 20s, but they're within a tenth of a 
perfect 20. Um, as far as the size, the one here, the one that's the, uh, be printed on the 0 0.20 millimeter, uh, that comes closest to the 20. Now the only thing I did here was to change the infill and change the seam to the back right corner. And I don't think it's the infill that helped it out. I think it's actually changing the seam to the back right corner that seemed to help out the quality finish of the print. Now let's take a look at the example. The only difference between the one on the left and the one on the right is I increased the infill to 30% of this one. And also um, I put the seam on the back right corner. And that's the difference. This one had the sh um, the automatic settings of the smart hiding. This one is in the back right corner. And as you can see, it cleared a lot of the... If you look at them side by side, it cleared a lot of these imperfections right here, right here. A little, uh, the striations. And just one or two little settings are gonna change a lot of the quality of the prints. You can tell by the F right here. There is. Little imperfections. There's none right here. Again, that's because I put the seams in the back right corner of the cube. Also, I just want you to know that these are really two identical cubes that I printed if you take a look at this one right here there is some imperfections ghosting as they would say on the outside this one doesn't have any same thing side by side comparison there are no issues on the outside there's a little bit of a like ghosting problem right here and also on this one but the major issue is right here And I just increased the infill on this to 100%. As you can see, I put 100% infill. And that just cleared up a lot of the, uh, the ghosting on this side. As far as the measurements, 25.27. around two point 
12. So the, it did increase the size of the actual uh, wall by around, maybe around 0.2. This was infilled at 100%. This was infilled at only 20%. But still, as you can see on the outside, it cleared up a lot of the ghosting on the outside. See, this one has still has a lot of ghosting. This one on the outside does not have any ghosting on it. So just that one, uh, one setting of increasing the infill to 100% change that. There is still ghosting on the inside. They both have ghosting on the inside. As you can see from, I'm gonna try to get it on camera. So in the beginning of the video, I know I said that I was gonna show you how to create your own calibration cubes in a free software called Blender. Um, however, I decided to put that in a separate video because the YouTube algorithm will not favor the video if viewers only watch a small portion of the video or half of the video. And I know that some of you guys probably don't wanna watch the design portion of it. You guys just wanna get the information. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to have a complete video that has all the designs and explanations in one package or if you guys would enjoy a separate or separate playlist of videos for the design portion of the 3d printings and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this